I'm David Steinsaltz. I'm in the Department of Statistics, and I'm teaching statistical lifetime models. Important social data take the form of event times, births and deaths, marriage and, and divorce, illnesses and career changes. Event times have special features that demand particular methods of statistical analysis. Their distributions tend to be highly skewed and irregular. They depend on personal characteristics that change over time. And they tend to be only partially observed as individuals drift away or die, or a study concludes before all the times have been observed. As a simple example, imagine you're studying the influence of social isolation on hospitalization rates in the elderly. We recruit a few hundred elderly subjects and interview them about their social contacts. Then we follow them up over a period of two years or so, recording the times when they were in hospital. Some remain healthy for the whole period, some are hospitalized one or more times, but some have no recorded hospitalizations because they moved away and couldn't be followed up. Some died early in the study. So we need methods that will accurately measure the influence of the social contacts without being disturbed by these other complications. This course will start with the basic mathematics of event times and the methodology of life tables, which are the most basic tool of demographic analysis. We then move on to statistical theory and computational tools for estimating and comparing lifetime distributions. And we conclude with um, looking at model diagnostics, so various methods for determining when particular models are valid and appropriate for your data.